low ceiling because I didn't have no more room up to the wall. And I figured, well, you know, what am I going to do? You know, I, I don't want to throw anything away. These things are too valuable to me, I think. So I put it up here, you know. And I didn't just get this one. If you guys remember from the, the vlogs that I read, the daily vlogs, I also got Joker. Can you see Joker? Right there. So, you know. And I got posters of Teen Wolf 2. And I got the original Teen Wolf right here. In a nice frame. You know. I mean, it's just, it's pretty crazy. You know, I got pictures of, I got posters, of, or not posters, but like your dolls of Ernest, uh, Alfred Newman bobblehead, a Robocop, uh, the, the computer game box that's right up here, if you can see, uh, Back to the Future poster, the DeLoreans from Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3, some Home Alone cups from Home Alone 2, these are the original Hardy's cups that Hardy's are uh, had uh, for uh, their promotion when they promoted this movie as well as the posters. I got two of them. Two of them from Home Alone 2 last New York. And I don't know, I mean, you know, I think this is probably one of the best Batman photos I've ever gotten. Because uh, it's not just a photo. Somebody actually painted this to like a watercolor gloss. And I found a nice, fr nice you know, f a cheap frame for it. And, you know, ha gives it that widescreen look anyway. If you if you guys were seeing it in real life, I mean, it, it's pretty cool. You can get that actually from Amazon.com. Just type in like Michael Keaton Batman poster, and it should come up like as two ninety nine plus six ninety nine shipping and handling or whatever. And all these comic books I got from you know, the summertime, you know, various comic books that I found from Mile High Comics. Eddie of the Cruisers two poster. That's another poster that somebody needs for inspiration. Eddie of the Cruisers, and Mr. Michael Perret here who. Was Eddie Wilson, you know, Eddie lives and all that stuff. So I mean, pretty much. I mean, it's just general stuff that you guys have seen before, that I don't really know what else is different that I haven't showed you guys. I think. Uh, oh, I will show you uh, where I put my uh, Ghostbuster figurines, just so you guys have an idea. Originally, you saw them up here, right? Well, I, I moved them because uh, when my friend John and I were we were wrestling around because you know he's a wrestler and all that, and I. I kind of was back in the day. Well, I kind of, well, we kind of wrestled around here and there just for for the hell of it. But anyway, uh, I put my Ghostbuster figurines right up, right down here instead. And I think they're a lot better because they don't, you know, they haven't fell fell down yet or nothing. And I think they look pretty good. I know a lot of people were upset because I don't have Winston, but you know, you gotta understand that these were pretty expensive. You know, uh, the value of them are at least forty dollars a piece, if not more. And uh, they were very expensive, uh, and I don't really have the money. I mean, I do have the money to get them, but I the other one. But I I kind of like the original three better. Winston, you know, nothing against Ernie Hudson. And anybody that likes Ernie Hudson, all you Ernie, diehard Ernie Hudson fans out there, you know, that, and that's fine. You know, he's a good actor. I just he just wasn't my favorite Ghostbuster. But I do have some Ernie Hudson stuff around here. If you don't believe that I do appreciate all four of the Ghostbusters. I do have the original painting from Ghostbusters 2 that was a print that somebody that I found on eBay as well as the Vigo. That's Ernie Hudson right there, you know, if I'm not mistaken. A younger trimmer Ernie Hudson, but, you know, kind of medieval looking more or less, you know, ancient, his, ancient uh, time stuff. Also got him in the Ghostbusters 2 computer game that my friend Trent Matson uh, from Hugo's uh, gave me. That he had, he was gonna throw it away, and I was like, "Oh, you know, I'll take it off your hands." And I even got the original movie book. So it's probably not a whole lot of uh, Ernie Hudson stuff, but it's you know, same poses, whatever. But you know, it is what it is. So I don't know. I mean, as far as anything else goes, I mean, I think just having this alone is the greatest thing ever. Uh, a lot of people uh, knew that I got myself a, a new TV. Here earlier this year, and uh, I still have it, and I'm not gonna get rid of it. It's a 26 inch Toshiba high definition TV. Uh, I know a lot of people have said, well, in order to, to really experience true HD, you have to get a bigger TV. I disagree because this this has the function. This actually does read up to 1080p. You know, you guys may have may think because of how small it is that it doesn't, but it actually tells me 
on the screen uh, if it what resolution it is like if it's on the regular cable channels it'll say 480i or 480p if it's on the digital cable channels it'll say 1080i or 720p or 1080p on my blu-ray connection that I have it always says 1080p so it does reach the level of high definition that that it, that uh, high definition is because I think people get high definition kind of mixed up sometimes they think it's so many different things and and it's just better pictures clearer it's you know high definition and I see that I see that every time I watch a DVD or blu-ray and even when I watch animated films I see that so so anyway, guys, uh, that's about all I'm going to show you guys for this little room tour thing. I just wanted to get it shown so it's done with. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys, uh, you know, rate and comment and subscribe if you can. For some reason, and I don't know why, uh, you guys have this problem too. I try to subscribe to people now, and it says that I have too many subscribers or something like that. And I can't subscribe to really anybody. I don't know why that is. It kind of pissed me off a little bit because it's like they're preventing people from subscribing, but I know people can subscribe. Is there a way that I can surpass that? Does anybody know? Let me know if, if you know how to do that. Other than that, uh, the next video that I'm going to be doing, because I said, and I'm, I'm keeping my promise, I, I said that I am going to try to do more on-location stuff. Not just sit in the car or whatever, sit in the Jeep and talk about stuff. Um, this weekend, I'm going to film for the next episode of Season 3 of the Frankie Sausage Show. We're going to go on a little shopping spree. And I'm taking this camera with me to Walmart, and we're going to do a little shopping. My first ever shopping spree. You're going to actually see me buy. I don't know if you'll see me buy this stuff, but you'll see what we're looking for, what I'm looking for, and what I purchase. Uh, there's some things at Walmart that they have, including the new Nightmare on Elm Street movie for $15 on DVD that I, I want to get. So we go down there. I might be busy, but I'm still going to have the camera on anyway. You know, just because I've seen people do it before, and I think it's pretty cool. Maybe a little risque, you know, to do that. But you know what? I bought this camera at Walmart, so, you know, it's only fitting for me to film it there, right? <laughs> so anyway, we'll see you guys when we do the next episode of The Shopping Spree. Other than that, I'm Frankie Slauson, and uh, thanks for watching.